Here we apply the timeline technique to a steady flow past an airfoil. Near the angle which gives zero lift, the portion of the timeline passing above the airfoil rejoins the portion passing beneath at the trailing edge except for the narrow boundary layer region where the flow is retarded by friction. Since the distance around either side of the airfoil is approximately the same, the timelines show that the average speed above the airfoil is approximately the same as beneath it. When the airfoil is set at angles which give large lift, the portion of the timeline passing above the airfoil outruns the portion beneath. The velocity is higher near the upper surface. At negative incidence, the effects are reversed. 